The last two years has been a very rough time for the city of Hong Kong, one of the prominent cities of Asia with it being a financial hub. While with the ongoing political tension starting from the protests last year, things have become more complicated amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic which has affected everyone. Despite the challenges, Hong Kong remains an important aviation hub, a key destination for airlines from Asia and beyond. With this in mind, this video will be about a new airline being formed which could be a future addition to the Hong Kong aviation industry. This new airline was first revealed in a news report by the South China Morning Post on August 10. With the business name as Greater Bay Airlines Company Limited, the group leading the charge for this new airline has filed an application for an airline operator certificate with the Hong Kong Civil Aviation Department. In the report, the city's aviation department confirmed it received the application from the group in late July and the current status is it is being processed. Upon further reading, we are getting the first news of the current plans of the airline, aside from the name of Greater Bay Airlines. Plans are for the airline to operate as a low-cost airline with flights to China and other parts of Asia using Boeing 737s. As for the group leadership, there has been some names circulating in reports including former executives of airlines including Cathay Pacific. However, the reported key figure of this airline is actually Shenzhen property figure Bill Wong Chobao, who just so happens to also be the founder and chair of an airline based in Shenzhen, Donghai Airlines. Should the Greater Bay Airlines Group successfully get their airline operating certificate and begin operations in the very near future, it will enter the competitive aviation and travel market of Hong Kong, which has already four local players. Hong Kong is already home to the Cathay Pacific Group, which includes Cathay Dragon and the budget carrier HK Express, which I believe that it could be competing with this new budget carrier. While the Cathay Pacific Group dominates the local aviation scene, Hong Kong is also home to the HNA Group's Hong Kong Airlines which has been going through its own financial struggles in the last few years. Being a city, there is very much no domestic market for these airlines to serve. Some of the only opportunities for these airlines to operate are international flights, which the Hong Kong carriers and the many foreign carriers that operate there already provide various options for travelers to and from Hong Kong. It's for that reason that all the airlines in Hong Kong in recent years, during the past decade especially, has experienced some difficulties and ups and downs, including Cathay Pacific. So with that in mind, Greater Bay Airlines will have a tough time to navigate this market well enough to avoid the situation of what's going on at Hong Kong Airlines. Despite the difficult reality for the airlines of Hong Kong, I could see some steps that Greater Bay Airlines could take to hopefully improve its chances of success. With the name of Greater Bay Airlines, it could look to partner with other firms locally to enhance connectivity within the area of the Pearl River Delta, which includes the cities of Macau, Hong Kong, and Shenzhen. So it could focus its marketing efforts also on travelers from mainland China looking across the border and using Hong Kong as their hub of travel. This would likely involve the partnership with ferry services to other parts of the Pearl River Delta such as in the case of Cathay Pacific with, who actually have partnered with a ferry service going to Macau. From Hong Kong, there's also ferry services to Shenzhen so the company behind Greater Bay Airlines could also be looking for those kind of partnerships. The Greater Bay Airlines company will also have to deal with what is one of Cathay Pacific's greatest strengths in Hong Kong which is providing connecting travel options. Right now, as a planned budget carrier, I don't see Greater Bay Airlines having the vast network of Cathay Pacific, though I could see partnerships with airlines that operate in Hong Kong through the form of interline bookings and baggage handling. Finally, the last thing that came to mind would be how would Greater Bay Airlines secure favorable flight slots at one of the busiest airports in the region. Those are just some thoughts regarding the future prospects of Greater Bay Airlines, but right now, its fate is pending the approval of the air transport regulators of Hong Kong as well as its ability as a company right now to navigate the ongoing downturn as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Given the current situation and the time needed to process the application, some aviation observers including La Chong Kuk of the Chinese University Aviation Research and Policy Center in Hong Kong states that it takes at least two years for any new airline to complete the necessary requirements prior to it launching its first flights. If things go according to planned laws, the timeline for the commencement of the Greater Bay Airlines operations could be in 2022, as he was quoted by the South China Morning Post stating, the airline could commence in 2022 when we would expect to see a more substantial revival of the global aviation industry. 
As this new venture, Greater Bay Airlines is looking for its approval from Hong Kong's aviation regulator, do you believe that Hong Kong has room for another airline? In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.